Their bucket truck is equipped with a single person bucket and outriggers. They'll be repairing this broken primary line. The line was connected between this pole and this pole. The downed line may still be hot, so we'll have to disconnect this jumper tap from the primary to de-energize the line. Once the tap has been lifted, the crew will be able to safely cross the field to the second pole. The crew parks their bucket truck on the road near to the job site. The work surface around the pole may be unsuitable for the bucket truck, so they'll need to check it before driving the bucket truck to the job site. The first thing they do is secure the area around the bucket truck and put chocks under the wheel. Once the last cone is in place, they inspect the job site. The terrain is hilly, so they've got to decide how to get the bucket truck to the job site. When they reach the job site, they take a closer look at the work area and decide where to position the bucket truck. The tap to the downed line is on this side of the pole, so they can position the bucket truck near to where they are standing. The next thing they do is check that the ground around the pole is firm enough to withstand the weight of the bucket truck. Once they've checked out the area around the first pole, they can move the bucket truck to the job site. One man walks in front of the bucket truck to look for potholes or other obstruction. He does this because it's difficult for the driver to see the ground in front of the truck. When they reach the job site, the linemen set up the bucket truck for operation. They position the bucket truck so that the pedestal is on the side of the pole closest to the work area. The first thing they do is chalk the wheels. Now they prepare to lower the outriggers. The ground near the bucket truck is firm, but slightly uneven, so wooden blocks called cribbing blocks are put under each outrigger. One man operates the controls while the other crew member places the cribbing block under the outrigger. The cribbing blocks distribute the pressure exerted by the outrigger over a larger area. 